Hey ESGN Nation and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN NAS. We're back here for another NASCAR Heat 5 career mode with Jedediah Jameson. Episode number 7 here today on ESGN at LP. Welcome and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the series so far. It's, so far it's been a lot of fun playing this uh, NASCAR series. It's been really, uh, really sinking my teeth in this here. I'm actually kind of uh, a few episodes actually ahead of where I want to be at right now but that's enough said here um, we'll have uh, you know episode 8 coming up very very quickly and of course episode 9 right behind that but today we are going to get ready for the Ringler 100 now this is a long track here at Bristol I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken I think we might have this might have been the first or second win that we had um, last season when we started um, you know a couple episodes ago when we started this series uh, so we get another chance now here as we're a full-time uh, extreme dirt uh, track um, racer here. And we're trying to, you know, of course, earn some points here as you take a look at the current standings and what the playoff picture looks like for a lot of different uh, guys here that are trying to get to the playoffs. Remember, the playoffs start in race 10 through 14. So there's four races there. Uh, after race number nine, you know, whoever does have enough points there will not be eligible to fight for the championship this year. We're gonna be currently starting in third place for the Ring 100. And there you see the car today. It looks like in a pretty nice car here. The guys have been working on it very, very well. And there you see our lap time there for our practice round. Not too bad there. Of course, we got some extra uh, dollars for that, uh, completing that challenge. Now, all the next, all we have to do now here is just try to survive this one and try to maybe uh, bring home a trophy in this one. Try to finish this one off here at uh, Bristol. So we'll head out to the track here in just a few minutes. You see there Jed looking at the car and uh, checking out. Uh, just kind of max and relax. He just seems like he's a really cool chilled guy there. And uh, you know kind of maybe not really uh, thinking about the race too much. And you know he knows what he has to do and uh, he knows what it's going to take to bring home a trophy and of course some money. So let's go out to the track here. Green is ready to go. Ready. Got one down low now. Bottom clear. All clear.
still there. Are they on the outside? Last lap, hit your mark. Still there. Clear high, clear high. So there you see, winning the regular 100. Well, actually, no, coming in third place there in the regular 100. And uh, we come up short here this year. So don't get the, uh, well, we get the uh, we get the money because uh, we're in the top three, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was the challenge for this one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, don't bring home the checker flag in this one as Mark Hunter will take that one. Roy uh, Wood will go ahead and take its uh, second place there. And, of course, Leslie Gomez right behind at number four, and around at the top five there, Caleb Stevenson will take fifth place. Uh, so yeah, this is a tough track here. Uh, you know, I, I could have sworn I, I think maybe last year we did take this one. I feel like we this was a good track that we had, but this year just not in the best interest for us. And uh, tough break uh, there for for, for Jamison, but he is just only uh, what four points behind the leader right now, Mark Hunter. So the next race uh, is pretty much his if he can do well. Of course, you know, put us in a good position. Uh, we can get, uh, you know, pole or, uh, you know, again, the top five or higher. Of course, the pole, you know, that I just mentioned there uh, would be even better for us. But we're in second place right now in points. We took third place in this one. Take a look at our summary here in this one. Uh, for the car here today, uh, you know the car was running pretty decent here. It's our, I think it's our second, um, second car here that we have. You know it was a good car, but uh, we could get better. But there you see, uh, we do get a top. Uh, we do finish in the top ten. Uh, we did that twice, so we're gonna get that extra money there from our sponsor, and we'll see what the next race is. Uh, let's get ready for race number six. And oh, wait a minute, we're gonna go to race number thirteen in the truck series, and I believe this is Pocono, uh, the Pocono one hundred and fifty. And they're asking us to go in the top three here. And they might consider working with us next, uh, some, maybe sometime in the future. So we get a top three, we get $10,000 plus, you know, whatever bonuses there are, especially if we're uh, finish this race at the top spot there at number one. So there you see the cool, calm, collected uh, Jed there getting ready for this race, probably thinking about what his kind of strategy he has for himself and for the other drivers and uh we'll see of course we'll be probably be swapping quite a bit of paint <laughs> uh not with just cars but maybe with uh the wall uh hopefully not hopefully we'll have a successful uh run and of course the truck uh, you know running pretty smoothly here uh it's not our truck so it's the guy that we're racing for but uh you know for the most part here i think this should be a good race so we take a look there we finish the uh practice and qualifying we're gonna be at number three here and there you see some of the stories are going on right now in the truck series. And we'll head out to see Green here in just a bit as we get to the, I believe this is the second truck race that he's been in this season. Here at Pokemon 150. Ready. Green flag, green flag.
So there you see we finish in eighth place, or excuse me, not eighth place, jeez, in the fifth place. I read that uh, speed rating there. Uh, so we finished fifth place, not where we were supposed to be at. We were supposed to be in the top three uh, to get those extra incentives uh, for this team. And so that's going to hurt us here. So we'll get the win some winnings here to finish the race, but we're not going to get the extra bonus of staying in the top three in this race here in Pocono. Uh, this long track for uh, these, uh, you know, for these trucks here, they are tough. I will say, uh, you know, I had a good battle there with uh, the uh, number three, uh, 51 car, and the uh, car there at number, at police in fourth place there. Um, but yeah, we start slipping there some, and I just could not get those turns. The straightaways were awesome, but then trying to find the right braking. Um, to get around the corners, you know, I was trying to take the corners, you know, go, you know, come up high and, and then come down low on the corners, but yeah, just could not, uh, still not a good, do a good job of that. So definitely gonna have to work on that and, uh, some training there, um, here off cam what, but for the most part here, it was, it was, I thought it was a decent race, not a bad race for our what, second time being in the truck series. Uh, hopefully we will get another call back here soon. Uh, from uh, you know, not, probably not from this team since we did not complete the hot seat challenge. But um, you know, hopefully we can uh, get called back, and you know, maybe they need another guy. Uh, maybe you know, whatever the case may be. Hopefully we get called back up, do another hot seat challenge. Here we got a message here from Ben Rhodes, and you see he's been following our progress this season and excited to see what the, which team we choose. And of course. You know, we are being asked by some other uh, teams here to possibly join us. You know, we have our own team, uh, Goldmine Racing, and we kind of—I I, kind of want to stick with that um, for you know, for the most part here, because you know, no one wanted to sign us last year, and uh, now we're, since we're winning some races here. You know, we got, got teams that want to kind of work with us. Uh, so we're going to choose another incentive uh, contract here. Uh, there's some pretty good ones here. And uh, we'll take a look there. Next uh, shows the next couple of races here. The next five races, I believe. And so there are some of the uh, you know top two or you know top uh, two, two top fives, uh, three top fives, or four top fives when we went to five races. And you know what? You know we did the first one pretty easily. Let's try to step it up already. Maybe we should start with normal, but we're gonna go with the challenging one. So we got to get four top fives in the next five races our top tens or whatever that case may be but we gotta try to do that and we'll try to do that coming up here in the next video as we get ready for episode number eight it is the true timber camo 100 and we'll get our car situated and of course uh, we'll see how we do here on this short track here at the texas speedway so that's it for this episode of jedediah jameson here on nascar 5 almost forgot what this series as was um but we'll stay tuned for episode number eight coming up very very soon here on the channel if you guys enjoy, enjoyed today's video please leave a like that really helps us out here on the channel with the analytics on youtube not to mention follow us on facebook twitter and Discord. don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified of this series or any other series that drops here on ESGN. Now hit that subscribe button. If not yet subscribed, about half of you guys uh, don't subscribe to the channel. Why are you not subscribing? Subscribe. Not to mention, wear a mask, stay safe, keep yourselves and each other healthy. I will see you guys next time.